Hi, I'm David Muller, Professor of Applied Physics at Cornell University and Co-Director of the Cavill Institute at Cornell for Nanoscale Science. I'm breaking the wall to high resolution imaging of atoms and their thermal dances. Electron microscopes use electrons with wavelengths of a few trillions of a meter, potentially capable of imaging individual atoms and solids at a resolution ultimately set by the intrinsic size of an atom. Until very recently, our resolution was much worse than this limit, more than 10 times worse. This was caused by two things. First, there were intrinsic aberrations in our electron lenses, much worse than for optical lenses. It would be kind of like trying to use a beer bottle as a magnifying glass. Second, our electron beam gets scattered very strongly inside the sample. Imagine throwing soccer balls at a crowd and trying to guess where people are. So this is easy to do for one person. It's much harder to do if you've got a dozen people standing around each other. This is called the multiple scattering problem. And it's been a headache for electron microscopists for over 90 years. But using a new design of detectors that we developed at Cornell and powerful computer algorithms to reconstruct the data sets, and a lot of patients, we've solved that problem. We've been able to disentangle all of these blurring effects to reconstruct atomic resolution images with sufficient sensitivity to see the thermal vibrations of the atoms themselves. For the very first time, the resolution of an image is set by the thermal vibrations of the atoms themselves and not as a limitation of the imaging system. We're not just seeing where every atomic nucleus is, we're also seeing their average motions as they jiggle around at different temperatures. It's like a slow motion capture of an atomic ballet. From the direction of the blur, we can tell the direction of the softest and the strongest bonds that hold the atom to its neighbors. In a sense, we can not only tell where every atom is, but also what they're doing there. Being able to visualize the structure of matter has been pivotal to our understanding of the inner workings of cells and living organisms and the atomic level understanding of defects in solids. Now that we've reached this record resolution of 16 trillionths of a meter, this has brought applications across science and engineering fields, but has special importance for biology. For biological sciences, the resolution is limited by the electron dose on the sample. And here, as all the electrons in the beam are used, we throw nothing away. And this means it enables a two to three times higher resolution for the same dose compared to a conventional electron imaging. And it reduces the number of tilts needed for 3D imaging of whole cells by an order of magnitude. Now, looking forward, a grand challenge in neuroscience is mapping all the neural connections in the brain. These studies are called connectomics. Today, it takes almost a year to map out a cubic millimeter of brain tissue. We believe we can design a detector that will cut this measurement time to less than a day. That means studying not just one brain, but studying the differences between different brains. In other words, connectomics on demand. Thank you.